Good evening, my dear patient. It is I, Dr. Moxmo, here with you once again for your Monday night reading. Death. It is something so dreaded and feared throughout those who live on this earth. Yet, it is so normal, natural. To be completely honest, you and I will one day have to leave this earth, yet no one can seem to accept it at all. What is it about such a natural occurrence that fills people with so much terror? But what if you could see into the future and mark the point when someone's death has come to claim them? What would you do with this ability? Would you warn them, trying to delay the inevitable? Would you stay silent and let the natural course take its path? Would you want to know your death? And would you do anything about it if you did know? Tonight's story delves deeper into the situation. Will I read tonight's story? Keep these questions in mind and contemplate your outlooks on the situation. Now, sit back and relax as I recite to you the tale of Faceless, written by Camus. Oh, hello there. My name is Diogo, and I live in a small village located in central Portugal. Things are quiet here. I go to school, I have many friends, and even have a girlfriend. It's all going great, and this despite my handicap. At least, that's the way I think about it. Indeed. You see, I can foretell when a person is going to die. All I need to do is look at their face, either on a TV, a photograph, or when I'm in front of someone. The difference being that I see them without a face. I can see their heads with their ears and hair, but there's no mouth no nose, no eyes or eyebrows. It all started when I was a kid. Back at home, there was this picture of the family on the fireplace. Grandmother, grandfather, my parents, my big sister, and I. At some point, I couldn't help but notice that grandmother's face had all but vanished from the picture. Of course, this remained unnoticed by the whole family and everyone just kept asking me to be quiet and cause no trouble. But some days later, grandmother passed away following a heart attack. I didn't immediately see the connection, nor did my parents. It's not like she was in her prime, you know. Then, it was my grandfather's turn. His face had vanished from the picture here again. Once again, I tried to tell my parents, but that only led to more fighting. But I couldn't argue with the facts, as some days after that, grandfather died as well from a stroke. That time, my parents could no longer deny the truth and not believe me. They did ask me to keep a secret and not tell anyone. They saw it as a curse and feared this could lead me to trouble. This kind of ability would tend to make people suspicious should this be turning out to be true. It all went smoothly from there. This handicap was not all that difficult to bear and I thank God for that. I did see faceless people out in the street or when I watched TV, 
I told my loved ones about Michael Jackson days before it actually happened and they managed to make a bundle from buying collections of CDs before everyone else did and selling every one of those for a ridiculous amount. I know that is not a particularly nice thing to do, but it was my gift, my curse. I had to make do with it. So I figured I might as well make full use of it. You might be asking yourself, why am I telling you all that now? Why am I revealing that secret to the whole wide world now? What exactly happened? Do I want to know if someone else possesses the same ability? No, I don't care. Do I want to be famous? <laughs> Far from it. The truth is, my dear friends, as of this morning, I haven't seen a single face. The TV people are faceless. All my Facebook friends are faceless. Same goes for all the people out in the streets. Same goes for me in the mirror. I don't know what's going to happen, but I suggest you start living from now on as you never have before. Have all the fun you can, dance away, make love, pray, do whatever you want, because in a few days, we'll all see each other in the next.